The hippies are capable of extremely hard work, even though they tend to approach work as the rest of us do sport. Some of them are very successful. This is the house of a popular local band which plays hard rock music. They call themselves the Grateful Dead. They live together comfortably in what could be called affluence. There are many other similar houses or apartments in Haight-Ashbury, maintained by hippies who work in places where employers do not mind bizarre dress or long hair. Their concept of a new style of life unites them, and that concept is, in most cases, drawn from the drug experience. The Grateful Dead themselves acknowledge they have used LSD. Warren Wallace asked them what they thought the hippie movement was trying to accomplish. Uh, what, what we're thinking about is a peaceful planet. We're not thinking about anything else. We're not thinking about any kind of power. We're not thinking about any of those kind of struggles. We're not thinking about revolution or war or any of that. That's not what we want. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to hurt anybody. We would all like to be able to live an uncluttered life, a simple life, a good life, you know, and like think about moving the whole human race ahead a step mm -hmm. or a few steps. <clears throat> And, or uh, half a step. Yeah, or a half a step, or anything. So or at least not more positive. At least not attitude. going around in circles like it is now. Do you think that your movement or your idea, the hip idea, is essentially connected up with drugs? Yeah, I would say that, that that's uh, a, a large part of the framework. I think that most of the people who are hippies now came to it through drugs. Yeah, but it's not a dope movement. We're not trying to We're not spread pushing dope. dope. You know, we, I think, for personally, that uh, the more people turn on, the better world it's going to be. We were but, talking uh, before about a way of being, and yeah. and and one of the ways of, of achieving that being is through through uh, drugs, through expanding your uh, consciousness, consciousness, changing yourself. Well, like uh, most of us have given up uh, the psychedelic drugs anyway. Uh, yeah, right. Well, we've learned something from them, and now we're kind of playing around with that knowledge. And what have you learned? Well. It's, you can, you can point out the example that the people that live in the community and, uh, you know, play around with dope and stuff like that, they don't have wars, you know, and, uh, they don't have a lot of problems that the, uh, but a larger society has. Uh, in, in essence, in, the scene has grown up with us, and we have grown up with the scene. Uh, we've all grown up together, and, uh, uh, feel more like children than ever. Right. Uh, because we know what we're trying to do. We're trying to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> the way the hippies want to live seems in the end to consist of childish postures. They claim they want to be left alone, but they are masters at setting up public occasions which are bound to draw attention, if not interference just as an unruly child will act up in a way that attracts adult intervention and then complain about it. Nearly every Sunday there is some such event. Here, music is blurring forth from the open windows of an apartment on the corner of Haight and Ashbury, while in the street below, a crowd of hippies celebrates the sunny day. Traffic stops. The crowd grows. Finally, the police roll in with paddy wagons and nightsticks. The crowd parts, clearing the street. Everyone waits to see what will happen. There is no violence, and there's a reason for this. The band called the Grateful Dead have announced they will make music in the park. Merry Christmas, folks. Merry Christmas. And the crowd moves along, provided with a place to go, something to do. The Grateful Dead are playing a tune called, appropriately enough, Dancing in the Street.
Most of these people are young. Most of them come from middle-class homes. On the average, they are well-educated, or could be if they wanted to. But they do not want that, nor much else in our civilization, except on their own terms. In many ways, their terms have the glitter and the attraction of the bright and bold and noisy. But it appears to be style without content. They object to the ills which beset society, war, social hatreds, money grubbing, spiritual waste, but their remedy is to withdraw into private satisfactions. When one thinks of the problems of our day which cry for attack and imagination and youthful energy, this seems like the greatest waste of all. The movement appears to be growing. Use of drugs appears to be spreading. There is the real danger that more and more young people may follow the call to turn on, tune in, drop out. 